an election day here in Lubbock, across Texas, across the United States. A lot of people are going to be paying attention to what's happening. And, of course, we continue our election coverage. Earlier today we had uh, Attorney General Greg Abbott uh, on the program talking about his campaign for Texas governor. Now joining me in studio, Austin Carrizales, who is uh, running for Lubbock County Judge, a Democrat running for Lubbock County Judge. Uh, Austin, welcome back. Thanks for having me. Well, uh, let, let's talk about uh, one of the things that, uh, you know, after we had you in studio or uh, after we had uh, Judge uh, Tom Head, your your opponent uh, in studio, we, we took quite a few phone calls from people uh, discussing this race. And one of the things that people brought up, and I'm sure you've run into it being out there on the campaign trail, is the letter next to your name, uh, which, which is a D. And a lot of people out there said they liked what you had to say when you were on the show. But you have that D next to your name. How do we know that you're that small government guy? You had Judge Tom Head who said, "Hey, look, if you're a Democrat, you can't believe in small government. You can't, you can't, you can't be that conservative." Uh, talk to people out there because in order to win this race, you have to reach over to the Republican side. I, I would think uh, out here and get Republicans to vote for you. How how are you trying to do that? Man, that's simple. You know, two words there, and it's been used by both sides. You know, just conservative values. I, I think it's weird that, you know, people challenge, you know, where I'm from or my beliefs, but you got to realize I was born and raised in Lubbock. I'm not the candidate that was born in Highland Park. I mean, I was raised in Lubbock, Texas. I mean, if that doesn't make you conservative, I don't know what does. So, I mean, I don't know if you're looking right here on my feet, but I brought my cowboy boots. So, I don't know. I just think that somebody, if they actually take the time to get to, get to know me, go look at my campaign page, you know, they realize this guy is not your typical D. He is a conservative. Um, recently, I heard somebody say, you know, there's no such thing as a blue dog Democrat. And I'm over here like, are you kidding me? They're still alive. There's the thing called a blue dog coalition. Now, there is only one in Texas on the congressional level, and I happen to work for him. So I'm hoping that will stress, you know, a little bit of my values. And if they have any questions, they can come to me. Well, let's let's kind of let, let's separate. Where do you separate yourself from the Democratic Party? Um, a lot of issues. I mean, one, the spending. Uh, that's that's a huge thing. There's just too much. Um, I'm not one that's going to go and say that we should go and raise taxes. Um, I've actually been pretty opposed to that. Abortion's a big issue to me. Um, having the grandfather that's the Baptist minister, that's just not an option. Um, not where I come from. And I mean, I've had people like Isidro criticize me on that. And I'm like, I'm sorry, that's the way I was raised. It's what I believe. And uh, nobody's going to change that. And no party line will and for a lot of people, they'll follow that line. Mm -hmm. I won't. Uh, visit with Austin Carrizales, running uh, Lubbock County Judge. Uh, when uh, Judge Head was uh, here in studio, one of the things that you've been hitting him on is the pay raise and that he did not do enough to combat uh, that pay raise. W what would you have done differently? He says that when he was on the show, he said, hey, look, it, it wouldn't have mattered if I would have gotten out in front of TV, if I would have gotten on radio, it would have been passed. If you were in that seat, what would you have done? That's easy. Rally the votes. I mean, uh, if if there's one thing I've heard from his broadcast was, you know, it was a lot of, well, it wasn't really my choice or, you know, well, that's actually somebody else's job. Well, you know, you're the, the head of the county, essentially the mayor of the county. If you knew four weeks before, it's time to say, hey, you know what? It's time to have a public meeting outside of normal hours. It's time to call the AJ and say, hey, you know what? I don't really like the way this is going on. Um, and guess what? I don't have the votes right now, but I'll let you know that for the next election cycle, every single person that's going out there to vote today on Election Day is going to know that four weeks before, I did nothing, and that's what Judge Head did, nothing, to rally and stop this pay increase. Which, yeah, it's okay if he got – he had his one vote against. That's fine. But there was no you know, alerting the media, no talking to Mr. Chad Hasty. I don't think he even called you for a radio request. I mean, this is kind of sad. Why didn't he do anything? If you're elected, tell folks where you want the county to head, which direction you want it to head, and what are some of your goals? I mean, some of my goals, first of all, is to actually do a line-by-line, -line, um, just go through the budget line-by-line. -line. I know traditionally that's put on the county auditor, and, you know, I'm not telling them how to do their job, but I'd like to be there with them not only to, you know, to do that, but to see how they do the process I have some background in auditing, and I think I know what I'm doing, but you know what? It doesn't help to have some experienced people nearby. Um, I think going line by line, the judge mentioned that he could, he could have already saved three hundred fifty to 400000 for people. Why didn't he do it? 
I mean, why are you putting off tax savings? That's money that belongs in your pocket, not ours. Visiting with Austin Carrizales. Uh, Austin, uh, just in the, the, the time that we have left out there, uh, go ahead and talk to voters. Try to convince them uh, why they should uh, should vote for you. Oh, I think it's time for something new. Um, I've always been a, a big believer in, you know, we don't, we don't need career politicians. Uh, we should limit ourselves just like, you know, George Washington limited himself to two terms. And, you know, I don't care what your office is, but, you know, that's an eight-year total. Uh, we've had somebody there that's been in far longer than that since 1998. Not only that, has it been productive? I think it's time to see, you know, Lubbock County head in a new direction, vote for somebody young, enthusiastic, and somebody that's going to work for you all the time. Are you saying that you would uh, term limit yourself? I would love to. What how, What would the term limit be? Two. George Washington did it best, and I mean, I realize we ventured a little bit with Roosevelt, but there's no reason why we shouldn't have those. We, uh, we had a drive-by, and I think I asked you this question last time, but uh, people have been wanting to know. They said, if you're so conservative, why are you running as a Democrat? If I'm so conservative, why am I running as a Democrat? That's easy. It was strategic. Um, you know, I do have still certain values. I believe in education. I'm not saying that conservatives don't, but you know what? I'm willing to spend for education, and that's one thing where I, I'm just not going to falter on. That's our future. I mean, I was born and bred in Lubbock, Texas, Lubbock High, Texas Tech, Texas Tech for my master's, Texas Tech grad. I believe in education, and that's one thing that I. if somebody said, hey, we got to put some more money into it, I'm not going to go and say, well, you know what? We're taking taxpayer money. I'm going to say, hey, guess what? Our kids deserve it. What what else? I mean, that's that's one thing. There are a lot of Republicans out there who support uh, education. There are, there are. But to me, that's the biggest thing: the spending on education. Um, I have to say, you know, other issues where I, I mean, guns. I love guns. Um, I believe you should be able to have anything that you want in your home. Um, I'm never, I'm not for gun regulation. A few people know this. Um, my 13 year old cousin was shot and killed by a kid with a gun. I don't blame the gun. I blame the parents that didn't properly, you know, put that in a safe or actually have the right lock. Um, I've experienced that on a personal level, and I don't think you can get any closer to what it was to me, and I still support guns very much. So, All right. Austin Carrizales, appreciate you coming in today, taking the time on Election Day. What are you going to do the rest of the day? you still going to get out and uh, talk to people? Well, uh, those nobody can see me. I have my rain jacket on. I'm going to be out in the parking lots, you know, rallying some votes last minute. Um, anybody's welcome to join. I'm having a party tonight at Orlando's on Indiana. Um, I'm also going to go to some of my Republican friends. I bought some gifts, and I want those that are not challenged. I'm going to welcome them to their office properly. All right. Austin Carrizales, appreciate you uh, coming in, uh, running for Lubbock County Judge, and uh, appreciate you uh, stopping by today. Thanks, Chad.